Now, your KSBW weather forecast with Chief Meteorologist Lee Solomon. A lot of popular attractions across the Central Coast. This is definitely one of them. Uh, you can bet it's going to be crowded tomorrow. It's not going to be warm and sunny, but they'll still be doing the rides and they'll be getting the corn dogs. Certainly uh, the unofficial kickoff to the summer season here this three day holiday weekend. Low 60s today coast. How about low to mid 60s for most of the valleys? We eked out a 72 in King City. Everybody running between about five and almost 20 degrees. Below average this afternoon, courtesy of what we'll call a very deep marine layer. It was stacked. It's not the typical summer type of marine layer. It's really a lot of cloud. You can see the massive cloud deck out over the inland areas as well. And it just broke apart a little bit here this evening. So we've been getting this very late clearing in portions of the coast, but not the whole coast. And now we also have showers and thunderstorms up over the Sierra. So that rain falling into snow that is melting adding to the river flow, which is very, very high and dangerous, super cold, very swift and way over its banks in many cases. Uh, so do plan ahead if you're heading to the Sierra. There are flood concerns up there, just a general flood concern, but also flash flooding a potential with these showers and thunderstorms. We're going to see that each and every afternoon, probably for the next uh, three to five days, courtesy of low pressure. Can you see the counterclockwise swirl here? That is what's firing things up. It's literally over the Sierra now in the central coast. It'll be moving off to our east, but unfortunately replaced with more low pressure on Sunday and Monday. So we're not going to get much of a break from that. Forecasted highs tomorrow, low 60s Tahoe, mostly 60s along the coast. And in between the Central Valley, we'll make it up into the upper 70s to low to mid 80s. So pretty pleasant in the Central Valley if you're looking for some warmth. That's really the place to be or the deserts, of course. For us, low clouds stacking up hard here tonight. Mist drizzle along the coast. A very slow clearing tomorrow, similar to what we've been doing. I wouldn't expect clearing along the coast. We could get some patches of sunshine late in the afternoon. And we'll see how that goes. Otherwise, inland valleys and hills looking pretty nice. We might get a little more clearing up in the Santa Cruz Mountains, which there hasn't been much the last couple of days. Upper 40s to low 50s tonight. Chilly. Upper 50s to mid 60s. Cool day tomorrow at the coast. But the inland areas, they're really feeling it. It's just mostly 60s to low 70s with an afternoon clearing for the mountains and valleys. And they should be, again, right around 80 degrees this time of year. 61 San Francisco, 72 San Jose, low 70s Los Gatos. Pretty pleasant overall inland, you know, away from the Santa Cruz area where it's only going to be in the upper 50s to around 60 in the Santa Cruz Mountains. So you'll be doing the Memorial Day weekend uh, plans in a light jacket, likely, uh, under the cloud deck. 60 in Moss Landing, 66 Hollister, Gilroy, Morgan Hill, low 60s Coralita. So again, getting away from the coast isn't going to really improve your situation in terms of temperatures that much. You will have more sunshine. 64 Salinas, 70 in Greenfield, 73 King City. You really got to get down there. King City, San Ardo, Parkfield, Bradley, Lake Nascimento, Fort Hunter Liggett. They'll be in the middle to upper 70s and low 60s along the coast for the peninsula from Seaside over to Monterey and a 68 in Carmel Valley. Taking a look at your KSBW eight day forecast. We'll keep that marine layer around. Memorial Day, kind of same deal, coast side with upper 50s to low 60s. As I said, we may see a little warming Friday, Saturday, taken away though Sunday, Monday. And you can certainly see that inland where temperatures will push into the 60s to middle 70s by Saturday, but back to mostly 60s by Sunday and Monday. Next week, still running below average, but a little warmer potentially with mid 60s to mid 70s and maybe a little more sunshine, but it looks like the long range plan, these, these trends that I was showing you all winter long are for below average temperatures and above average precip for the state, but we don't really average any precip this right. time of year much. So if we were to get something, that would be interesting. But otherwise, the Sierra will be capturing showers and thunderstorms on top of that snowpack. It's just unbelievable how much water we have right. with more on the way. But all of that is really good for our fire danger, which is just kind of pushing that down the road. Yeah. Right. All right. Yeah.